Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about the Netflix documentary, Dancing for the Devil, Part 3. We're on the final part, y'all. If y'all didn't watch Part 2, Part 1, check out the playlist. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, comment, all the above. You ready, Blair? I'm ready. Let's go. Priscilla decided to sue Robert. I knew it was coming. And she learned in the process that running a cult is not a crime. Mm. You have to sue based off of crimes that happened within the cult. Yeah. Which is wild to me. That a cult is not illegal. No, it's you not. know that's crazy to me. Mm-mm. So because it's mm-hmm. it's subjective. Mm-hmm. So it's like people can say, uh, "Hey, the people who watch it takes two a uh, show, it's a cult." Mm. But it's it, it. But are we doing crimes? Are we human trafficking? Yeah. Are we are we saing anybody? You get what I'm saying? So it's so it, to me it makes sense. You get what I'm saying? Because people say church in general is a cult, but it's like that's not true. Right. This church, hundred <laughs> percent true. Yeah. So they um, brought the financial stuff into mm-hmm. the lawsuit. So adding that, hoping that that plays a role. Mm-hmm. Priscilla also got some of the dancers involved as well. Yeah. Priscilla and Melanie recruited their friends to serve the papers for Robert for their lawsuit. Okay. Because she said, listen, this is my my problem. I'm not going to get nobody on the outside. I'm going to get my friends. This is my, I'm going to handle it my way. Right. Respect. So what they do is they do a stakeout Mm -hmm. to see Robert and the friends and uh, Priscilla and Melanie followed them uh, in his, in their car. Mm -hmm. He ended up running a red light. They finally catch up with him and he is in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So the friends go up to Robert and serve the papers as well as the couple of people that were at the table. They got served as well. Yeah. Now Priscilla couldn't do the serving because she is the one doing the suing and Mm -hmm. she's involved in the suit. So she had to get her friends to do it. Yeah. So after uh, the serving Priscilla started feeling bad because she devoted her life to protecting him. And this is where we talked about kind of like how her brain is like fractured because she still has this loyalty with in her to him Mm -hmm. but she knows that he's done all these terrible things to her and pretty much like stole 20 years from her life yeah well one other person previously attempted to sue him and lost Mm -hmm. the judge said that he couldn't touch it because of the first amendment and religious rights yeah Uh, They would need a criminal case against him to actually get him behind bars. The one that Priscilla is pursuing is not a criminal case. Mm -hmm. So they need people who were S.A. to come out to the police station and report it. Um, The Wilkins family are the ones who are pursuing the criminal case. Now, here's the thing about it. Like, let's say Priscilla was not, let's say it's a civil case, right? Mm -hmm. But you want him behind bars, Mm -hmm. right? Let's say you are Priscilla. I don't know how I feel about orchestrating, getting people to tell their stories to get him behind bars. Like, I don't want to be the the motivating factor. Mm. Dude, you kind of get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if, 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 if I want him behind bars, I tell my story. Yeah. Right? I don't know how I feel about, hey, girl, did that happen to you? Mm-hmm. Uh, are you willing to share? Like, like, even though it serves the greater good. That was some. That was a crime that was done against you, and you have the freedom, in my opinion, to share it or to hold it, to deal with it however you want to deal with it. Even though overall it may serve the greater purpose of getting him behind bars to where he can't do it to nobody else. So I'm kind of like, ooh, like I'm in I'm in the middle of how I feel about like you know, like yeah, it's a civil yes, it's a civil case, which I'm happy for. Like you know, he loves his money. You know what I mean. But I don't know how I feel about like getting other people to share their story. Like they will have to come when out it and comes tell to me. Their criminal they case. will have to t- mm-hmm. come and tell me that they want to do it. I'm not saying Priscilla did that to basically like gather a team to get people to share their stories. But I'm just showing like how I feel about the whole thing when I was watching it. No, yeah, because it's two different cases yeah. going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Priscilla's case and then the Wilkins yes, case. Yes, yeah. And so Miranda's mom is the one who was calling around trying to get people to report their um, essay yes. situations. P- Thank you for the correction. The the mom. I don't know how I feel uh-huh. about that. Yeah. Even though it serves the greater good, because in, in some, oh, I'm I'm so I might I might I might call myself a hypocrite. It serves the greater good, and as humans, I believe there is a call to the greater good. You know what I mean? In the mm-hmm. sense of protecting our society, making sure it doesn't happen to anybody else. But certain things can be such a violation that 
at the end of the day, I'm questioning, do you just want your daughter back? Like, 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 I understand he done bad, but it's like, do you just want your daughter back? And basically, I have to basically expose myself, relive this trauma. And at the end of the day, you get your daughter back and things is all right in your world. But things will never really be 100 percent right in my world. Am I making sense? I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, but I am on the side of the mom did the right thing. OK, because I think that there's nothing wrong with calling people and trying to get their stories and trying to get a criminal convicted. Okay. Because he is a criminal. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, um, you know, even if they might feel like they're being used, I mean, hopefully you find solace in that justice was served. Mm -hmm. And maybe that does something for you. Do I want my child back? Yes. But also this man needs to be behind bars because he is a menace to society. Yeah. So that's where I look at it as it's for the greater good. If you want to participate, you can or not. But I will ask. I will ask. I don't think there's anything wrong with asking to see if you can participate in this to get this criminal behind bars. Yeah. So, um, so they ended up talking to a former member who wanted to remain anonymous mm -hmm. and they explained how people would massage him. But once when you were alone with him, he would kind of push things to see how far he could get yeah. with you. Mm -hmm. One of the girls was having back problems. He offered to crack her back and then he was actually trying to feel all over her instead of just cracking her back. Mm hmm. When one of the, the dancer girls went to report the incident, she was told uh, when she went to the police to mm -hmm. report the incident, she was told that more women needed to come and then the police would go get him. Yeah. And she kind of felt like, why does it need to be more? And, and basically she felt like they were basically like, like, OK, tell us what happened. Tell us every detail. And she kind of felt like she was on trial. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, this is new to me because it's like I, I get it. But in a way. I get it 100% of why you feel like, like why y'all questioning me like this? Why do I need more people? You know what I mean? Um, but to protect society in a way, I do like the fact that they will like go in and say, give us every detail. Yeah. Give us every detail. Because you just don't want somebody just coming in and just by one person's testimony, you just go grabbing people. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Even though you are 100% right and you are 100% telling the truth. Mm -hmm. and, if, and, and, and if you are telling the truth 100%, trust me, more women will come in. Yeah. You know, well, they did. More of women course. started to come in. Mm -hmm. Well, Melanie asks if Priscilla is going to file a police report or to go to the, down to the police office, um, what you call it, station to share what happened to her. Mm -hmm. And Priscilla, Priscilla is just like to put herself out there again for something that she won't really get a return for. She doesn't really see the point in that. It's easier for her just to forget about it and walk away. And that's where I got my, my, my analogy mixed up because I remember her saying something like that. And mm -hmm. I was like, making someone relive it when when they have the right to do with it, however they want to do with it. Mm -hmm. I was like, I kind of see Priscilla point, but I kind of see Melody point and your point too. Like, A, you, well, you're not, you can, you need to serve society. Yeah. And, 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 and he is out here and you, and you have a testimony to tell to protect not only other people, but to bring justice to the wrong that was done to you. Yeah. 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 And also, um, that's kind of going back to what we're talking about and just saying that with Priscilla, like it is your choice if you want to partake. Yeah, in that. yeah. Yeah. And even though, yes, we would love for you to partake and that way we can have more against him mm -hmm. and we can have a personal account. If you decide that for your mental health that you cannot do it, that is, that is your 100%, decision. You're right. That's yeah. your decision. Yeah. So Melanie Lee wants to make up for lost time with her sister, but Priscilla hasn't been making making herself available. Mm -hmm. Melanie needs to know how she can support Priscilla. And she's asking her like, what do you need from me? And Priscilla's mm -hmm. like, I just need space. Mm -hmm. And Melanie's like, I, well, I need basic level of communication. They get into the baby's birthday party, mm. Melanie's uh, child's birthday party. Yeah. And she said that you came late and you offered to help you all. You said you were going to do all these things, but mm -hmm. you came late. You didn't even apologize for it. And Priscilla said, you know, people expect me to be normal. Mm. You want me to, to act correctly. And, and she's just like, who cares? It's a party. It's a kid's party. Like, why is that a big deal? Mm. And Melody is like, you are her aunt. Priscilla's like, I don't know what that means. Mm. <laughs> and she goes on to say, I'm a dysfunctional sister. I have internal issues that are not about you. Mm -hmm. It's common sense to you, but I don't know what it means to care about a child. Mm -hmm. She says every day she wants to unalive herself and you want me to be on time for a freaking party. Mm -hmm. Like, what are we even talking about right now? Mm -hmm. Priscilla actually does wish that she could have a baby, mm -hmm. but there's so many what ifs in her life. I mean, that's 20 years robbed. 
robbed of her life. Mm -hmm. She says that she could have had four kids by now. Mm. She's thinking back over her life and how she lost the best years of her life so Robert could enjoy his. What is your thoughts on that alone? That 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 was a powerful scene, to be honest. Yeah, I, I was just like, first of all, I was on Melanie's side because I'm just like, that is of, so annoying. Of course. Of <laughs> when people course. are late to things and say uh, that they want to help and then they don't come through. Like, I'm just like, that is just the most inconsiderate and annoying thing. Of course. But when Priscilla got to talking, then I was just like, you know what? I'm wrong. Yes. Thank you. I am wrong. Mm -hmm. Because Priscilla, you just showed up today and you're doing the best you can. Mm -hmm. Just because... Melanie got out and she was able to start a family and she's kind of living a normal life. Priscilla did not have the same situation. And mm. Priscilla is not over what happened to her. Priscilla spent more time in the cold and had more things done to her. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, yeah, we need to give Priscilla grace. Please. please. We need to give Priscilla Th grace. Thank you for giving her grace. Yes. <laughs> because that right there really put into terms of why I do not hold people I don't want to use the word accountable, but everybody lived they, everybody's in their own world, man. Mm. And I don't really like if you're late to something or if you let me down or something, I'm who am I? I always look at it as self righteous to be like, How dare you be late to my kids' party? Mm -hmm. How like you will never hear me say anything like that. Just to, because at the end of the day, I could put myself in position to get yelled at the same way as Melody did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like it just cause Priscilla basically just said like, F that baby. Mm-hmm. And that's facts. Like, F that baby. <laughs> like, I have been S8. Mm -hmm. I wish I had kids. I am dysfunctional. You want to talk about how I want to basically, like, how I'm late to a party when I'm trying, when I'm struggling to live every day? Like, 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 what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, what? Like, obviously, like, we're not in the same reality right now. Correct. You get what I'm saying? And... I get both sides, but this is what happens when people are fighting like silent battles. You really don't know what they're going through, mm -hmm. and it and it, it, it explodes like this. Mm -hmm. And and like I get Priscilla's point. Yeah. So Priscilla took some time to try to reconnect with her dad in South Korea. Mm -hmm. She ends up not necessarily connecting with him. I feel mm -hmm. like she just wanted to berate him, to be honest. Okay. She tells her dad that it was his fault that she ended up in the church. And she hopes that he feels ashamed. Mm -hmm. The dad is shocked to hear that she was in a cult for 23 years. Mm -hmm. um, did you have anything to kind of touch on regarding that scene with her and her dad? Mm -mm. Um, I guess my only thing was that Priscilla is really hurt. And I think she's trying to hold everyone accountable for their role in how she ended up in the situation she ended up in. Mm -hmm. And I really do think that because she even talked to her dad about like, I was thinking, am I stupid? Like, am I just this vulnerable, dumb person to yeah. where somebody can just come in and just wreck my life? Like, and yeah, a lot of it did stem from her parents not being there for her and her dad abandoning her. Exactly. But I'm just like, I, I don't know if Priscilla's in therapy, but I'm just like, Priscilla, you got to go to therapy, girl. It's like more, It's more than therapy, though. Yeah, but you need to, like, work through some of this stuff out. And not to say that she shouldn't have held her dad accountable. I absolutely feel like, yes, he needed to hear that. Like, he needed to hear that this is what my life has been, and you were not there, you were mm -hmm. no help, and you probably put me in the mind state to make me vulnerable to people like this. Facts. And it's just like, yeah, dad, take ownership of something, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Um, so that, that, to me, was like an interesting, powerful scene. Yeah. Well, she ended up going to report the SA to the police department. Strong. Months went by, Robert was not arrested. Mm -hmm. Miranda ended up texting her mom saying she'll come home for Christmas. Miranda came, recorded everything, had everybody in her matching pajamas, mm -hmm. all for social media, and probably to send to Robert as well to be like, hey, I'm doing what you said I needed to do. And also, you got to think, like, she, she, she sent to potentially get them to drop the lawsuit, mm -hmm. to basically drop the trial. You get what I'm saying? To basically, like, butter butter him up. You get what I'm saying? To be, I mean, to butter uh, their relationship up and basically be like, hey, look, you got me now. Do you still want to pursue this, like, you know, this case? Yeah. You got what you wanted, mm -hmm. right? Matching pajamas. Hey, sis, you want to dance? Like, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it's, it's all a game. Yeah. It's all a game. 
So uh, we also touched on the dancers and how a lot of them lost their passion when they left the 7M mm-hmm. situation. But there were those who picked it back up and continued in their passions. One of them, uh, Concrete, he went on to dance with Beyonce on the Renaissance tour. Mm-hmm. One of the girls, she is a uh, performance arts teacher mm-hmm. uh, and for dance. And so some people have reignited their passions in different ways, which is nice that they didn't allow Robert to um, snuff out th- what gives them joy in life. Yeah, but so. but they but this is different. This is like twenty years compared to like just a moment in their lives. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a huge yeah, huge, huge difference huge between difference, Priscilla yeah. and a lot of them. They basically, mm-hmm. even though they feel like they was part of the cult, they really got out. Yeah, they did. They really made out pretty well compared because you actually see the contrast of what happens when you're actually deep in it, like Priscilla, mm-hmm. um, and not even to rely on that um not even to rely on the assaults but you see what happens when it comes to priscilla compared to someone who may have been there just doing the nda process Mm -hmm. it's like wow it's really you kind of see like what could have been yeah or how or how how bad it could have been you know how many years of your life you could have lost like that's terrifying Mm -hmm. so and the lee sisters they are working on building their relationship and building up trust with each other Mm -hmm. is that it that's everything do you trust miranda no. No, not at all. No. I, I I do think that she's being used by Robert. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, like, it's not even I'm just listening to the the um rhetoric or the stories that the family is saying. Mm-hmm. They're playing Robert preaching within oh, yeah, <laughs> each yeah, yeah. part. And we're hearing him say some off the wall stuff mm-hmm. during each part. Mm-hmm. So for her to go online and say that she's okay and nothing's wrong, I'm just like, I, I hear Robert talking crazy. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think her sister trusts her. No. And and they shouldn't. They really like, shouldn't. Her, her sister is engaged or like married already. And or like she's going to get married because I think she was talking about how she always dreamed of her sister being her maid of honor and things like that. But I'm like, now that you actually have what you want, you have some type of connection back with your sister. You realize this might even my sister. Yeah. Like it, it don't feel the same. Like it's not fun anymore. I'm going to invest in now my fiance and I got to take care of my parents now and stuff. It's just like now I don't even know if I even want it anymore. It's kind of like, can you even say you have a sister? It's kind of like mourning that relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anything else? That's all I got. Listen here. We are actually going to react to, um, Blair don't know this, but Miranda actually made a post and I just so happened to go on her story and watch this video that she made and this post, we're going to react to that. And today in current time. Her and her family not talking to each other. Again, oh. this is what she does. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So join us for that. Anything else? That's it. Y'all be good. Bye.